Well, hello there, Aries. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. If it's your first time on the channel, welcome. So glad to have you. So today we are doing your October general reading. We'll take a look at the overall energy with the Oracle cards, and then we're going to move to the Tarot for more details. And if you enjoy the content that I create or resonate with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider um, liking, commenting, subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, let's get into your reading. Let's see, Wombat Spirit, be at home. Interesting, I think Pisces had the same card and Yang. Now, so interesting because <laughs> this is kind of like divine feminine and divine masculine. You know, we have both of those energies within each of us, but it's almost as if you're 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 at home in in taking the action that you need to take. You know, knowing that you may have to take some action in order to feel more comfortable with yourself or a situation, you know, your financial situation, a relationship, it's um, this sense that taking action will bring you the peace that you're seeking. True love, deserve, wow, this is... Um, Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's kind of like there is so much divine feminine in this energy in this energy this is amazing I'm not sure I've ever had this before but all six of the cards here and then on the bottom look at this it's just amazing it's almost as if right you know you have the divine masculine here but it's almost as if you know, there's, um, it could be a twin flame kind of connection coming back in, or it could be you just getting into this energy of taking action on really your, your, your sense of nurturing, of allowing things to come in for you because the divine masculine is taking action, right? Producing. And then the divine feminine is about creating and allowing things to come to us, to nurturing ourselves, nurturing our ideas, nurturing our, our relationships, um, what it is that we're wanting to do. Now, there's something on the bottom. You have deception and then you have victim mentality and then you have family. I feel like there's kind of been a conflict or you're feeling, um, you know, uh, some conflict within a family situation. It could even be a conflict between, because we have so much divine feminine here, between a mother and a child. And it wouldn't matter. You could be the mother or you could be the child. But it's almost as if there's this energy, you know, of the two of you kind of um, being at odds in a way, feeling perhaps deceived by um, either a parental figure or someone that you consider like a mother figure in your life. So let's take a look. Let's go to the Tarot. Um, I'm kind of intrigued by this because we have the Ace of Cups and True Love. Stepping into this energy, this is really your divine, your divine feminine really coming into play. Stepping into this energy of truly loving yourself. Look, being able to look in the mirror and love every aspect of yourself. Of understanding that you've done so much work. You've given, it's almost like you've given this cup of love to yourself, right? That you understand that maybe you didn't get that as a child. Um, and maybe you've gone back and you've done something because it says be at home, right? Maybe in your home environment as a child, you didn't have the nurturing that you were, you were seeking or needing in order to thrive, in order to have self-confidence. It's almost as if you're stepping into this energy of knowing that being nurtured is something that you have to do for yourself, that you're not going to get it from a certain other person, whether it's your mother or a, a parent or a romantic figure or just other family members in your life. It's almost as if you're recognizing that, you know, your mother, your motherly energy, the motherly energy that you wanted in your life, either as a child or even now, is just not really available to you at this time. And I feel there's this sense of needing it, 
you know, a sense of, of wanting it, of, you know, really putting maybe some time and effort, taking action to nurture yourself at this time. Well, I'm sending you out lots of love and hugs. I'm getting the message. Some of you may have recently lost your mother, you know, and really are, are missing, you know, like maybe her motherly advice or um, her motherly, you know, hugs or encouragement. There's almost this sense of I, I'm missing that in my life at this time for some specific reason. You know, you could, you would probably miss that. You know, my mom's been gone for a while. And, and you know, I think of her every day. But um, and you could be going through something right now where you feel as if you're really wanting your mom. You know, yeah, going back and forth. Tower moment. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. I think you really want to heal this to bring this back together. You know, but there's this sadness, like, you know, just a, a true sadness of feeling like this maybe will never come back together. You could have had an argument, you know, um, because, you know, you have the two of pentacles. I think you were going back and forth about this for some time. Could have had an argument or something, and now you're kind of going your own way. But with the nine of pentacles, you know, you have your independence and freedom, perhaps, from a certain situation. But you really, it's really, I want to give you a big hug, Aries, because there's this energy of, I really want a hug. You know, there's that energy you know, you could have gone through a breakup, you know, with a romantic partner or something. And just really, you know, it's this sense of missing your mom. So the energy here is this is your obstacle. You know, having, I feel like there's been this long term, like arguing, um, battles I guess you might say with this person whether it is your mom or or you know somebody else in your life that is someone that you would like to be nurtured by so it could be even a romantic partner that you wish was more nurturing more emotionally intimate right um it's been a long battle and you're coming into this energy of understanding that you deserve to be nurtured you know, you deserve to be cherished for who you are and and the gifts and the talents and the love and, and the compassion that you have for other people. It's almost as if this person, this other person doesn't see you for who you really and truly are. It's almost, I'm getting a sense, they may have put a label on you. You know, like they may have said that you were selfish or or something, it's almost as if they've kind of put a label on you, perhaps even in childhood or something. And it's kind of like, I, I get the sense that you feel like this, this person or these people, because it says family, that they, they don't understand the, the kind heart that you really have down deep inside. They don't see that part of you. They may see you, you know, um, as someone that is just like business savvy or, you know, um, maybe you're very adventurous and you love to travel and, and it's, it's almost as if they don't see you for the loving person that you really and truly are. It could be in the workplace. Um, say it's in the workplace and you are kind of like, you know, a really hard worker. And then there's people in the office maybe that don't see you as the compassionate person that you really and truly are. Yeah, you're trying to bring this into, into balance. This is really, it's bothering you. I think for a long time you were able to kind of balance this out in your head, you know, and now it's kind of like, no, wait a minute. Um, I don't understand why they don't see me who I am as who I am. They they may see you as someone that focuses on money. And I think what you're doing is you're opening up your heart. You're kind of like stepping into this more emotional part of yourself, more loving sense of yourself. Not that you haven't been loving in the past, but it's kind of like this is really important to you. You want these deeper connections, right? And you could be offering, you know, kind of something to them, offering, you know, to throw Thanksgiving dinner or something like that. And they're, and they're you know, 
it's kind of like there's this offer, but it's tangible. It's almost, I wonder for some of you, you could be wanting your, your mother or a parent or somebody to love you, but all they can really do is give you financial rewards. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, you know, um, a parent that is not very good at emotionally connecting with the children will sometimes buy a lot of extravagant gifts, right? Because that is something that they have and they can give, right? Easily. But giving emotions, having affection is not as easy. And I feel as if that is part of the problem. It's kind of like, I, I wish you would quit giving me gifts, right? And just sit down and listen to me. Have a nice conversation with me. Give me a hug, you know, spend time with me. Get to know me. Yeah, because your advice here is the loving woman. Then we have the five of cups. It's almost as if looking at this person, once again, I, I get a strong sense of a mother there, but it doesn't have to be, but that this person, right, um, is almost as if understanding that this person is not capable. It isn't because of you. I think for some time you may have felt that way. They may have said that to you, right, that you're unlovable. Um, and my heart goes out to you because I feel like this has been a, a relationship that is helping you to open up, okay, to take action, to kind of understand that this person may not, this person is not going to change. You can't change this person, so you can only either change because we have the judgment card. It's kind of like I either have to uh, walk away from this person if I can't be around this person and, and only... Um, accept what they can give me, right? And be happy with that. Or I have to, um, you know, I either have to walk away or I have to accept them for the way they are, which of course is part of our path is accepting people for who they are. But I think that this is really difficult. You know, if you have, um, other siblings, if this is a connection that you have with your mother and you have other siblings and maybe you feel like your mother, um, loves, you know, um, or gets along better or something like that with one of your siblings, right? You could feel very, you know, that's really hard. You can feel very left out. It's kind of like, why is what I have, you know, not, um, not being cherished as much as perhaps, uh, you know, what a sibling has to offer or whatever, yeah, it's a really difficult energy. I think your choice here is, you know, keep in mind the five of cups, not to focus on what you don't have, focus on what you do have. Um, you could be going through a time right now where you're, you're trying to, um, you know, you're trying to figure it out. So you're looking at what you don't have. You could have other friends that have really good relationships with their mother or something. And you're kind of like, I really wish I had that. I wish I had that now there, you know, once again, if you're going through something difficult, but taking a look at the other people, keeping in mind, there are other people in your life that really cherish you for who you are, that want to be in your life, that want to, to help nurture you. Um, so if it's not coming from this one person, it, it's not a reflection of you, right? It's, it's a reflection of them. And so it's kind of like, okay, then where, where, who in my life, right? Turning your head and realizing you do have people that at this time want to be with you. Intuitively, I think you know, the veil is kind of being lifted. You're understanding. It's almost as if you're, you know, you have the six of wands here. You're going to have victory in this situation. You know, be able to move forward very quickly um, and, you know, gain your emotional almost your emotional stability about this situation. You could feel a little bit, once again, like other people get along. You see how these two people on the background are kind of like, they're getting along because they're, you know, gossiping. <laughs> um, and you may feel a little bit on the outs. Like you're not as included in the family. You know, you could be maybe the youngest, like these three older siblings are playing and you can be the youngest. You're kind of, maybe you live at a distance from your siblings 
or you just feel distanced from your siblings or your other family members. Yeah, Ten of Cups. There is, a, you know, there is a, a loving family situation. Yeah. You know, if you have a Virgo in your life, right, you could feel as if There's almost an energy of going within and understanding that the what is occurring in this situation can actually cause you, right, to have this mental anguish, um, to self-sabotage yourself if you allow this situation to kind of like rule your emotions. It's about understanding that whatever this person, okay, whatever they're not able to give you emotionally, that you can find that emotional strength, that emotional nurturing within yourself, right? And in other relationships. It's almost as if you're hyper-focused on the fact that this person isn't willing to give the, give this to you. Uh, we have the King of Wands and, you know, the five of, five of Wands and the Five of Cups. If this is a romantic connection and you're in a romantic connection and you feel like this person isn't emotionally intimate with you, you know, it's like all physical with the king of wands. You know, it's kind of like with the two fives, you know, something has to change. You're at that point where you understand I can't go on this away. This, this is just too painful, right? You know that you have to make a decision about, you know, how am I going forward? Am I cutting myself away from this person? Or am I just going to change my perception of it and realize that they can't, honestly, Aries, they cannot give you what it is that you are wanting. So it's, it's part of your path to understand that everything that we really and truly want, we can provide for ourselves. Um, and yet at the same time, I think this is, you know, a really difficult situation so I do send you lots of love and hugs because um you know I feel a little bit as if you you know with the five of wands you feel like you're competing for somebody's attention it could be even a father because we have the king of wands here kind of like I'm competing but I can't ever win this is something that you feel like you can't win and yet at the, at the bottom, we do have milestone. I think in the end, you win. You may not win, you know, this, this battle, this round, whatever this is. But in the, the long term, you are going to win, whatever that may mean. What am I the most afraid of losing? So as we grow, change, and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be. If you were to take the big leap today, um, would you feel scared of losing love, safety, or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself? That's what I was just saying, right? You have the power to give everything you need to yourself. I feel like you have been fighting for a very long time to ha gain this person's attention, emotional support, nurturing, whatever it is that you're seeking from this person, right? But I do feel like some of you are taking action. You're kind of like, I, I can't, I, I can't compete anymore. This competition is leaving me feeling sad and alone. Um, I'm better off to just go my own way and, 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 you know, see what new is out there that you deserve. You know, you're stepping into this energy of knowing that you deserve to be loved and cherished for who you are, that you shouldn't have to twist and turn yourself into a thousand different ways, right? In order to get this person's love, attention, nurturing, that it's time to just, you know, go your own way if you need to. Well, Aries, I do do personal readings. Um, if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. And I really do wish you so much love and light um, in this situation. Uh, please be kind and gentle to yourself as you're going through this energy. Uh, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.